So you've heard about full context verify solutions and you wanna see how they work in real life. Let's walk through an example with verify.match. Let me introduce you to FC Auto Car Dealerships. They're in bad need of a graphic designer, but they have a killer tech team. One of the challenges that e-commerce retailers face and car dealerships are no exception is avoiding fraud while not adding unnecessary friction. To combat this, FC Auto Car Dealerships has used full context integration with Auth0, a fantastic orchestration tool with the ability to easily integrate with Verify.match. Let's check out how they did it. Going to the Auth0 marketplace, they searched Verify and found Verify products from Full Contact, including Verify Match. The way Verify Match works is on pre-user registration, another Auth0 event, the FC Auto Car dealership marketing team was easily able to integrate and drag and drop many of the custom solutions that come with Full Contact's Verify products that can be found on the marketplace. Once they contracted with Full Contact and got their API key, they were ready to go. They drag and dropped Verify.match into their pre-user registration flow and then added some basic logic on what they do with the output of that Verify.match. When a user registers, they will be added to the Auth0 user registry and their metadata that's returned from full contact will be included. This metadata is then tested against the basic logic that FC Auto Car Dealerships has decided is a good mix of little friction and fraud prevention. For reference, whenever a verify match request is made, the input can be found on our doc site here. It can be anything from email or phone to location and name. The output is a mix of several things according to the ID graph on the full contact side. For example, if the inputted city, region, county, postal code, given name and family name all belong to the same person on the request, we return self. That's a low risk signal. However, if the phone in this example returns tangled, it means that two individuals that are not related to each other have this same phone in the full contact ID graph. This is a higher risk signal. Lastly, if one of the items belongs to not exactly the same person, but to somebody who lives in the same household, we return household. In this case, the email is a household email. Lastly, full contact gives a summary of what we consider the risk of this person is using machine learning algorithms. It should be noted that none of these inputs here are the final say on whether or not this customer is indeed a fraudster or not. That is up for the final client to determine. Let's go back to FC Auto. The way FC Auto car dealerships has implemented the Auth0 connection with Full Contact's Verify product is again in their pre-user registration flow. You'll see when somebody tries to apply for a loan, they are asked for several pieces of information that will expand if they get a bad Verify.match result and contract if they get a good one. The goal being to reduce the friction that it takes to apply for a loan without exposing FC Auto car dealerships to more fraud risk. I'll put some basic information here that we're planning to purchase via financing. We want the 2018 Cruiser EX trim and we're individual instead of a joint application loan. Yeah, and I'll see a familiar screen if you know Auth0, this is their login. And it asks for a fair amount of information considering there is a good amount of information you need to verify a loan product. Just as a reminder, full context verify products are not the final say on whether or not somebody is a fraudster, so you still need a good amount of information. Let's start with an unknown email, the highest friction path. I'm gonna change my email here to somebody that does not exist, my wife, with my work email. You'll see this email will not match the rest of the information I've given here. So when I apply for a car loan, we'll get a verify.match bad email alert. This is ind indicative of a tangled or unknown response from the verify.match API. And the way FC Auto Car Dealerships has set up their website, this triggers some extra information needed, including date of birth. 
if we fill this out. We will get another prompt asking for a secondary email. I'll give my personal email this time, which will give a positive result in the verified at match API, allowing the loan to go through. If I go back to the user flow in Auth0, you'll see we have a new user. And if you look at this user's metadata, we'll see a full contact section that gave the risk of that email being unknown and a risk score of 98 out of 100. Pretty high risk considering the email did not exist. But the second email did check out and we were able to log in. Let's redo the example with a known email. All the same inputs for financing individually. For this time, we'll use a known email. This is the CTO full contact. He is trusted, so you'll notice that we still add some friction considering it's a car loan and the stakes are high, but we don't ask for date of birth. And if I fill both of these out, you will see that we don't ask for a secondary email. Everything checks out. If I go back to the user details on Auth0's platform, we'll see a second user. This one's metadata has a full contact section as well. But this time the email returned as self, which means that the risk is a lot lower and he was allowed to pass. Once again, you can find all of our listings out on the marketplace, each with their own applications. And if you have any questions, you can consult our documentation site at docs.fullcontact.com or you can email one of our sales representatives. Thank you.